Hi, this is Kit. It's been a really, really long time since I have made a video for this channel. Um, can you tell that it's been a worldwide pandemic at all and has shut down normal life as we know it? And also shut down nap times as soon as my other children were driven home. Goodbye to nap times for my toddler. So these are some photos um, for today's video. I, last year, about a year ago, harvested organic uh, material from my own yard by um, going into an old mulch bed that was filled with mulch that was sourced here locally. Um, no dyes, no chemicals, nothing to prevent the decomposition process. So obviously when you have that kind of mulch, it breaks down pretty easily. So this is something that I have to do about every four years. Um, and in the year of 2020, when we were all shut down, unable to go to a garden center very easily, um, everyone's pinching their budget a little bit tighter. I realized I have all of this free soil in my yard um, with which to fill some raised beds that I had built earlier in the winter. So this shows you what I did to prepare to harvest that free dirt um, in my own backyard. I raked off the leaves and then any of the more solid pieces of mulch that were still remaining, I raked that to the side with like a large thatching rake. Uh, thatching rake. Thatching rake. Um, the kind that you wouldn't want to like um, rake leaves with because you'd wind up ripping up your soil, but um, it allows small matter to pass through quite easily. So that's the kind of rake that I used. Um, once that material was removed, I was able to just use my fingers to um, run along the bottom of the fabric and free up that soil so it was loose and then was something that I could scoop literally into a wheelbarrow. Um, you can kind of see here, this was, yeah, again, almost a year ago, I guess maybe nine months ago, I decided I've always wanted to shave my head. And, you know, if you're going to shave your head for the first time, why not do it when everyone is forced to be home all the time and you're basically not seeing any other human beings? So I decided to do that. So you can kind of see my shaved head, which I quite loved and might do again someday. But I'm, you know, working out those clotted... Um, parts. I'm getting the bugs um, freed up because I found a lot of critters when I went into this um, the, the bottom of this mulch because they love to aid in the decomposition process. So I took a lot of those critters with me. Hopefully they um, were, were beneficial to my garden and not um, detrimental. I had some bad cutworm this past year. Um, I didn't see any of those when I was doing this, but I was like, I wonder if I like somehow got some cutworm um, cocoons in um, this process. So I guess watch out for that. But otherwise, this is decomposed organic material. It's, you know, something that's in your own backyard. You can use a little bit of elbow grease, clean up your mulch beds, uh, make them look nice again, and stop all of the weeds and grass from growing in your mulch and anything else that just seeds because this is literally soil at this point. And then, you know, I would dump it into the garden and just rake it up. So this is my existing bed. And I'm not showing my raised bed um, parts. I actually did probably 24 to 30 loads, um, wheelbarrow loads of soil into my garden, just filling it up because, you know, you always lose some soil to settling. Um, this was earlier than my planting season, so it gave it a lot of time to um, break down and I was able to churn the soil a little bit before actually planting my garden, um, et cetera, et cetera. So... I just thought this might be a fun way to start um, sharing some of the tiny projects that I worked on in the middle of um, the year of 2020, the year that no one knew was coming long ago. So yeah, if you have a mulch bed, as long as it's not filled with like chemical to prohibit the decomposition process, and I'd want to check if you have like dyed mulch too and be cautious about that. This is what you can do in your own backyard. So some beautiful looking, rich, um, you know, very organic material that's just waiting to be used. Cheers.